over time, I, I had started out with small back aches and it just got progressively worse and I thought that maybe it had something to do with my job because I do walk downtown on the cement in high heels all the time and it just got to the point where it was so bad that I couldn't even get out of bed one morning. From what I understand, uh, I probably wasn't maintaining a very strong core, uh, allowing my disc to compress and bulge. Um, degenerating spine, if you will, uh, which then caused pain in my leg and my, my back. I was lifting um, a little bit too much weight for myself and I heard a pop. And so that's when I decided I need to go <laughs> and get this checked out. And that's when I found out that I have um, three herniated discs. One morning I was getting ready for work and I heard on the radio, um, you know, come in and have your back taken, to, you know, have it looked at. There's no um, medicine, there's no drugs, and there is no surgery. And that really appealed to me because there was no way that I was going to have shots put into my back because I had heard horror stories that you have these shots and then you have to have them four times a year. Then I also heard horror stories, my brother being one of them, about back surgery. He's had three back surgeries himself and he's you know, no better than he was the very first time that he had the surgery. So I knew that I did not want to have surgery. Surgery wasn't a cure, it was just to treat the symptoms. Uh, I'm sure in all confidence it would re have reduced my leg pain, but longer term it wasn't a cure. My disc would have continued to bulge as my spine degenerated. I tried uh, a barrage of things. I went to a naropath, I went to a physical therapist, I went to other chiropractors, tried different types of treatments, um, I went to an acupuncturist, um, and all of them helped. They helped manage the pain, but as soon as I left the office, it was back. And that was one of the things that I had said to the doctor when I talked to him was that I don't want to do, those are not my options, I don't want to do um, shots or surgery and so I felt that this was the best option for myself. Though the, the procedures that the doctor recommended weren't necessarily, certainly they're nothing the orthopedist recommended or even suggested, but with his successes, with his previous successes, uh, I was very interested in what he offered. I heard um, the doctor on the radio and um, I decided, hey, it's non-surgical, I'll give it a try. I was pleasantly surprised that he actually took about 55 minutes with me and asked me questions and questions that I didn't even think would have mattered but that were able to help him make a sound judgment as far as how he wanted to proceed forward. Um, within a couple months the pain had subsided sufficiently that I didn't need painkillers. Um, was there discomfort? Yes, but as the treatments progressed and we started into an exercise regimen uh, certainly within six months, I, I felt very good, and at this point, I'm virtually pain-free. It's not an assembly line. Everything's tailored to you and your condition, which I appreciate because then I feel like he's looking at me, he's, he's being attentive to me and not just, this works for everybody. I am enjoying life I'm much, much more than I, than I had before. I couldn't ride a bike, I couldn't garden, I couldn't mow the lawn, and that's one of the things, I'd rather mow the lawn than cook dinner, and I couldn't do those things anymore. And um, after my treatment was finished here, yes, I have to be very careful how I do things, but I am able to enjoy bike riding and I'm able to enjoy doing the gardening. It it's almost difficult to remember the level of, of pain and discomfort that I had at this point. Um, I, I feel so good about what the doctor did and, and you know how, how he's affected um, my bulging disc. I'm just very pleased with the service that he offers. I'm still healing. I'm still getting better. I'm getting stronger. You go through a kind of a euphoria period where Hey, this is wonderful. This is I'm back to normal, but you know you have to be careful because you're still healing. It takes time, um, but 
overall, I am, I would say 90% better than, was I, than I was when I walked in.